Hello world, this is the Hacker 007, and today, first day of 2012, I'm presenting you guys with a nice big video, Windows 7 Tricks 2012. Um, this video will be divided into about 14 parts, 13, 14 parts, with 15 Windows 7 Tricks. Um, I'll have a title coming before each trick, and each trick will be its own little video inside this video. So, let's get started. So the first trick will be using keyboard shortcuts. Now these keyboard shortcuts can really eliminate time getting to programs and opening and closing things. Here I have uh, six shortcuts. Um, they'll be in the description so you can take a further look at them. So just to show you, Windows the win equals the Windows button on your keyboard. Left there, left there obviously is on mine just above the end, or the end button. Me, it's a keypad or a keyboard, a little higher or a little lower, depending if you're on laptop or desktop computer. So the Windows left arrow and the right arrow will dock the window to the left and right side of your screen. So Windows left, Windows right. As you see. So that can only really save you time when you're multitasking. So you open something up, you can just quickly do that and get it to the right side of your screen, docked and ready to open something else and pan to your right side. The Windows up arrow and the Windows down arrow minimi maximize and minimize. So Windows down minimizes, Windows up maximizes. Sorry, I have multiple uh, I have multiple notepads open so it will not actually work for mine. But um, Win M minimizes everything. So now I have everything minimized. Um, alt up and alt left arrow, alt right arrow, navigate to the parent folder or browse back and forth through folders in Explorer. So here I have Explorer and now if I go if I go alt up it goes up the folder um, alt left arrow was back, alt right arrow was forward and there you go. So basically it browses through your folders. Windows Home minimizes or stores all open windows except the active window. So if I have so Windows Home would be Windows Home. For me obviously I don't have anything open so it's for you guys it will minimize or store all open windows except the active window. So Alt Win Win plus a number axis of a program number on the taskbar. So Alt Win three four whatever, and there you go. You should your jump list will pop up. So that's the end of the first part. I will continue on with the next trick. For trick two, we have um, rearranging system tray icons. So many people know this already. Some of the b basic beginner users of Windows 7 will not know this, so I, I decided to put it in the video. In here, you have your notification area. If you do click on one of the icons, you may you can rearrange it to any part of the system icon or uh, system tray icons here. And it's actually very useful when you have many. Um, icons, it can you know help out, you want to put your mo most important one to the top. Another little part of this trick is actually putting all of the icons displayed. So if you, if you go here and you put always show all icons, you'll have all the icons, all of them squished right in there. If you don't, if you don't like, a, like ha seeing all of them, you can just hit uh, this again and it goes back to having the little box come up. So again, just opening. All you have to do is click here and hit customize for that part. And then on to trick three. For trick three, we have a a simple trick that I actually did not know for a while until about two weeks ago. This trick is accessing the jump list without using the right click. So what if you don't know what a jump list is? When you right click on a taskbar icon, 
you have the jump list, which is this right here. There's another way of accessing this. This is useful for touchscreen computers or people with laptops. All you have to do is actually left click on the icon and drag up. By dragging up, you will re reveal the jump list. If you do not re release your click and pull back down again, the jump list will fade away. So again, all you have to do is click on it once and hold the click and pull it up and you will get the jump list. You then can click on something and it will open up just as the normal jump list would. For trick number four, we have a uh, Windows Explorer trick. So if this is, is actually adding any folder to the favorites. Now many people actually do not know this one. Um, right here in your favorites, you have custom, you have your own favorites here. You can actually add any folder to the favorites so you can quickly access it at all times. All you have to do is find a folder that you want to add. So just go, go and actually go inside the folder. Once you're inside the folder, right click on the favorites tab and you'll have at the bottom add current location to favorites. Click that and you now have your folder right in there. So no matter, no matter where you are, you can click on that and it goes back to exactly where you want it to be. Now in trick number five. Tr trick number five is pinning frequently used folders to the taskbar. All you have to do is open up Windows Explorer, find the folder you want, drag it to your taskbar, and you have the option to pin it. You then will find it right there. And then when you click that, it will automatically open it up. Now trick number six. Trick number six is uh, controlling or pinning the control panel to the taskbar. Normally, you cannot do this using the start menu, but you can do, pin the control panel going through to the actual control panel. If you click on the control panel, the control panel icon will, will appear here. All you have to do is right click and hit pin to taskbar. Advantage of this is by by right clicking on the control panel you have you can pin your favorite and recent um, control panel options right in here so instead of having to go through the control panel to find Windows Update you can right click here and find Windows Update allowing you to access Windows Update much faster. On to trick number seven Trick number seven is creating keyboard shortcuts for any shortcuts. So if you have a standalone program, I suggest creating a shortcut for this program and then right clicking the shortcut. All you have to do is right click any shortcut, hit properties, and you will have the option right here to create your own shortcut. All you have to do is type hit hit or type the short shortcut on your keyboard right when you click in the shortcut key and it will automatically enter it for you. I, I clicked Control alt g When I hit Apply, whenever I hit Control alt g Google Chrome will open. On to trick number eight. This part right here will be trick number eight and nine because they both have the related same thing. So trick number eight is opening command prompt in any folder. And viewing the extent and trick number nine is viewing the expanded send to menu. To do both of these, this is opening the advanced right click right context menu. To do this, just hold shift down and right click on something. You will get an extended um, send to menu, so here we have a lot of extra send to options and extended options in here. If you, write, if you hold shift on a folder, you have the option to create even more options right here. 
so here, you know, any you want. All right, here we have more options. And right here is the open command window here. So if you click on that, it opens up the administrative CM or command prompt with that folder as the default location. On to trick number 10. Trick number 10 is adjusting the screen text with clear type. Clear type is one of Windows 7's features to best to see text most clearly on your LCD monitor or laptop. All you have to do is open up the Windows 7 start menu and type in cc or sorry, cttune.exe. Only one program will should show up. It's called clear type tuner. Here it is. Clear type clear type is a software technology developed by Microsoft that improves the readability of text on existing LCDs, laptop screens, pocket PC screens, flat panel monitors, whatever. Next. Windows has detected two monitors. You can yes for both monitors or or if you have one. So I, now you have to choose that looks best to me. So to me this one looks better. Now which one looks better? This one. And just go through all of them. So And that's about it. On to trick number 11. Trick number 11 is getting exact colors on your screen. This will help you get exact perfect colors on your screen. To do this, open up the start menu and type in dccw.exe. Again, I'll have this in the description. Open it up and Follow the steps to find the best color for you. So just go through and go through everything and you should have a better color looking wise on your computer. On to trick number 12. is customizing the pan on the Windows 7 start menu. To change this, right click and hit properties. Under start menu tab, the power button, button action can be changed to switch user, log off, lock, restart, sleep, or shut down. By clicking on one of these and clicking apply, it will now be changed to whatever you selected. You can always change it back to the shutdown if you find you like the shutdown better. Now trick number 13. For trick number 13, this is another start menu trick. Customizing the number of items in the jump lists and start menu. To do this, open your start menu and again right click anywhere in it. Click properties, go to the start menu tab again, click customize, and right here you have start menu size. You have the option to change the number of recent programs displayed and the number of recent items to display in the jump list. This will also change the size of your Windows of your startup. So you can make it half the screen, full screen, or whatever size you want. On the trick number 14. Trick number 15 is adding videos to the start menu. What I mean by this is on the normal default Windows 7 start menu, do you, you do not have a videos link. To add this, right click anywhere on the start menu, open properties, then click customize. If you scroll down to right here, last one, you have videos. If you hit displays link, it will have you have the option to click on it and it will open up your video section of your libraries. 
Along here, you have other options like recorded TV, system administrative tools, personal folder, network, and other options throughout the start menu. The last trick of this video, trick number 16, is a fade on closing and windows. By holding shift and pressing the button, slow away. By default, when your computer will not have this enabled. You need a somewhat okay video card to run this. Um, most computers will be able to, will be able to do this. Um, if you have a netbook, I do, do not suggest running this app, um, enabling this app option. To enable this and other awesome visual features, open your start menu and type in visual. Go to the con under the control panel, go to the last one at the bottom. You'll have the you know, I should say adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Click that. Here it will have different options. Um, depending if you're a not geeky user, you might want to just hit let Windows choose what's best for my computer. It will analyze your computer and choose what's best. Or you can adjust it for best performance or best appearance. So personally and me, I have them all enabled for because my computer is a decent computer. Now to have that work, you need to uh, enable fade or slide animations right here. So animation the taskbar and start menu. You need to enable most of these ones up here for that to work. Once you have that working, you will be able to hold the shift button and have the slow opening effect like that right there and the slow closing effect. So again there is a slow opening effect and the slow closing effect. So that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you are uh, redirected here for my old video, Windows 7 Tricks 2011, uh, please like this video too. Uh, I hope I try to mix them up from my last video, so I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, leave a comment below. And always don't forget to subscribe. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.